Create consistency. Now, consistency is going to be important and consistency will build upon the audit process that we just talked about as well. But what do I mean specifically by consistency? If you're giving your users access to all of these services by going you know, directly to AWS or directly to Azure or directly to Google or whatever, I would say start by creating a consistent user experience. Give them a self-service portal where it's the same portal, you've abstracted all of the cloud providers, whether it's IaaS, PaaS, or SaaS, everything is consolidated in a single location that your users go to, to gain access to these services. You've created a consistent user experience across the board. The other thing that you wanna be consistent with is how you operationalize cloud providers. So let's say you started with a single cloud provider, all of the best practices, all of the policies, all of the security, everything that you've learned for cloud provider A, make sure that you're applying the same thing for cloud provider B and cloud provider C, et cetera. We wanna be consistent how we are deploying and operationalizing our cloud providers, because again, that gives us the ability to then manage our cloud providers in a consistent manner. If we have different cloud providers that we've onboarded differently, the management aspect of it is going to become a nightmare. So make sure that the onboarding process is consistent so that the management process is also consistent so that you can manage them in a consistent manner. Now, managing them in a consistent manner doesn't mean that you know, you're not gonna make different tweaks and uh, changes to the different cloud providers. These cloud providers are different. So when you do invest in third-party tools, these tools aren't going to be able to help allow you to create one thing and then deploy it across all of the cloud providers the same way. You're going to create these policies, you're going to create your recipes, you're going to create your scripts and automation for cloud provider A, although you're going to use the same tool to manage cloud provider B, you might have to make some changes to these scripts, to these policies, so that they work with cloud provider B. But once you've done that, now you're able to manage from that same third-party tool consistently across your cloud providers.